let's look at the surface area of revolution and polar. Suppose I have a function that's well behaved um, on an interval from alpha to beta, and I want the surface area when I rotate that curve about the polar axis. Then that surface area is going to be 2 pi, the integral from alpha to beta, of f of theta sine of theta, times the square root of f of theta squared, times the derivative of f squared d theta. So you should be recognizing parts of these, this um, equation. Now, if I want to rotate about the line uh, theta is pi over 2, then it's f of theta cosine of theta times the square root of the square root of f of theta squared plus f prime of theta squared d theta, all multiplied by 2 pi. Let's do a problem. Suppose I have a circle, um, r is cosine of theta, and I want to rotate the, about the uh, line theta is equal to pi over 2. Well, the first thing I need to do is figure out how much of this do I really need to integrate. And the answer is, is I only need to integrate from 0 to pi because from 0 to pi, I get the entire circle. It, it starts repeating itself. So I know that my, let me write my formula down, the surface area is 2 pi times the integral from uh, alpha to beta, and I'm going to use r r cosine theta, the square root of r squared plus r prime squared d theta. So r is cosine, r prime is minus sine of theta. So this is 2 pi, and I'm only going to integrate from 0 to pi because I don't want to duplicate myself. r is cosine, and then I have cosine the square root, r squared is cosine squared, plus minus sine squared. Now I do recommend you go ahead and plug everything in exactly. Make sure you know where all of your terms are coming from. It will help keep you straight. So this is 2 pi, the integral from 0 to pi of cosine squared theta. Now, this is the square root of cosine squared plus sine squared. And I could have just recognized this as 1, but I want to show you. So this is 2 pi, the integral from 0 to pi of cosine squared theta times the square root of 1, which is just 1. Now, I can't integrate cosine squared. I need to uh, use a trig identity. This becomes pi, the integral from 0 to pi, of 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. And now when I do this integration and I'm out of room, I see that I get an answer of pi squared.